Hey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophie and I'm the founder of Agnes London. And today's video, I'm showing you a little DIY project for your home. So today's video is gonna be all about how I made this tea cozy. And I used an old tea cozy to make the pattern and everything and for like size reference. So I'm gonna show you how to make this new one from this old one. This was a really straightforward project and if you are a beginner sewer then there is like really not much sewing involved. This is a great one for you and also it's a good one if you don't have a lot of space and doesn't use that much fabric as you can see. So if you have nice fabric that you just want to use up then this is a good project for that. So for this tea cozy I use this really nice Sophie Allport fabric. The hearts on it that I purchased on their website. I also used a cotton waffle for the lining from the inside and in between the, the outer and the lining I've got some eco-friendly wadding as well which I will pop in the description box below obviously to try and make it as insulating as possible. So yeah let's jump straight into the video and I will show you how I made this tea cozy started off by tracing around the existing tea cozy onto some paper and just like tracing around the curve and the straight line at the bottom and then just checking the measurements as well. So I took like the height of the tea cozy, the measurement all the way around the edge and also the width across as well because the tea cozy I was using seemed to be a little bit narrower at the bottom and like wider halfway up. But when I checked these measurements that wasn't the case. So just drawn a straight line at the bottom and then mark the halfway point and then drawn the height on from that point and then I'm going to draw in my curve and checking my measurements as I go along. In order to make sure that the tea cozy is like equal on both sides I've just folded it in half down that halfway point I'd drawn in so I'll focus on half the pattern and then cut it out which will give me the whole pattern. So I'm just adding in my one centimetre seam allowance all the way around the edge of the curved edge. I haven't added any seam allowance onto the bottom because I'm going to bind this hem so I don't need to add any extra. And as usual with all my patterns just putting as much information on as possible and then cutting it out and as you can see that's my tea cozy pattern nice and easy and I've just marked on a point at the top where I'm going to add a hanging loop as well. I'm just cutting out the heart fabric. I'm also cutting a small strip for the hanging loop, roughly three centimeters wide and about 10 centimeters long. Then I'm cutting around the wadding and also the lining fabric as well. So I have three fabrics in total, two pieces of each. And also I should say with the heart fabric, it was directional. So I made sure that on both sides, the hearts were pointing up. I also cut out some bias binding, which is four centimeter strips that I cut on a 45 degree angle to go around the bottom of the hem. So then to just sew it together, literally all I'm doing is just straight stitching around the edge of the curve on all three pieces. So on the wadding, the lining and the outer fabric. For the hanging loop, I've just sewn the strip of fabric together folded over. And then I'm using a safety pin to turn it the right way around. And I'm pinning this in place in the top center of the curve of the outer fabric. So that's my hanging loop, just pinned it in place. And then I'm gonna sew around the outside curve of the heart fabric, enclosing the loop in it. And then to attach the strips of bias binding, I'm just stitching them together at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm gonna go over to the iron and I'm gonna pre-press them as well, which will make them much easier to sew. So next up, I'm just snipping all the way around the curve of the fabric, just to make sure that when it opens up, it opens out a little bit smoother. And I'm just cutting down the seam allowance of the wadding to make sure there's just a bit less bulk. I'm just gonna put the wadding first inside the outer fabric and then the lining as well. So all the seams are gonna be enclosed. So I decided to overlock the bottom edge. If you don't have an overlocker, you could zigzag stitch, you could straight stitch, you could do anything just to secure those three layers of fabric together. This just makes it a bit easier when it comes to doing the binding. So I've pre-pressed the binding and I'm placing it right up to the edge of the bottom of the tea cozy. And I'm just gonna straight stitch all the way around the edge just to neatly finish that off. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you do try out this method and make your own tea cozy, feel free to tag me in your pictures at Angus London as I would love to see them and let me know what you thought. I'm actually going to do another video as well coming soon where I'm making a KitchenAid cover from the same fabric. So if you like home DIY videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below to let me know what your thoughts were and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week with another video.